for my girlies out there who are dating right now to find their forever soulmate, I have three very solid boundaries that you should always have in early dating to set your relationship up for success. If we don't know each other, my name is Taylor Carr. I am a femininity coach. I specialize in love, dating, and relationships. And here are those boundaries, my queens. Number one, texting very minimal texting in the beginning. And if he asks why, you can just say, I'm not much of a texter, I'm much more for phone calls, but honestly, I would just love to see you in person. Relationships happen in person. If he's keeping you texting all day, all day, all day, and he's not actually setting up plans, this is a massive red flag. Number two, don't be so available all the time. If he says, are you available tonight for a quick you know, drink or whatever, you are not. You have a full life, you're a busy woman, make plans for a different day where he actually has time to set something up. And number three, and this is a very important boundary that I want you to set to protect yourself, no going to bed with a man until he has earned the right to your body, until you know for sure and you trust yourself for sure that he is going to honor and respect you in the bedroom. Men do not fall in love through sex, but they experience love through sex with the woman they're already in love with. A lot of women will make that mistake too quickly where they go and they sleep with a man thinking that he will bond with her very quickly if she sleeps with him in the first couple of dates. That's not how it goes. But when he is beginning to fall and then you go to bed together, that's where the love can really occur. And it happens for you too, no matter what phase, because you release so much oxytocin as the woman, not so much for the man. So if you loved these three boundaries, go ahead and click that little button, give me a follow, and I'll see you in the next one.